is making strides in his recovery. After spending months in the intensive care unit, family friends tell us Caleb is now in physical and occupational therapy at the Shepherd Center in Atlanta, Georgia. They say he's able to eat soft foods and can stand up with help. Fox 8's Caroline Boyer shares how his friends and classmates are making sure he knows they're thinking of him while he recovers. One, two, three. I already know he's going to be smiling from ear to ear, but hopefully it just both, uh, boosts his morale a little bit more and lets him know that he might not have known everybody at this school, but everybody knows him and there's a love out there for him. Hundreds of students from all grade levels at Wheatmore High School are rallying around their fellow classmate, Caleb Doolin. He has people here supporting him. He has people here that love him, people here that are praying for him, and people here that want nothing but the best for him. They showed that support by holding a pep rally for him Friday morning. Let's feed him a little bit of the student life, what he's missing, so they help, help motivate him to continue to rehabilitate and so he can get back here. Students packed the bleachers and decorated the gym with signs showing messages of encouragement. Some of the teachers wore their Doolin Strong shirts. <laughs> and dozens of students brought handmade signs to hold up with well wishes on them, like keep pushing and get well soon. We love you, buddy, and we can't wait for you to get back and up and running around with us again. Two of Caleb's friends led the pep rally, all while Caleb was watching through a live stream. Can't wait to, for him to be 100% and for us to be able to throw a party with him. I guarantee you the day he returns to this campus, we'll have another pep rally. While the Wheatmore High School community doesn't know when that day will come, they know it'll be a special one. Oh, it's going to be awesome. I doubt that there'll be a dry eye anywhere. In Trinity. Continue to heal, to know that he's loved. Caroline Boyer. To know that the school and his community is pulling for him. Fox 8 News. Such a great update there. And tomorrow evening, Troop 25 is holding a spaghetti dinner where all proceeds will go to the Doolin family. It will be from 430 to 730 at 114 Trendale Road in Archdale. It's $10 per plate and you can buy tickets at the door.